yeah, it's back with part two. Um, I, I do the videos on my phone, and I can only do the video so long, and then I can up upload it uh, uh, wirelessly. So here we go. Here's my A arm. Here's gonna be the the, uh, the top A arm. It's gonna have. So I'm gonna take uh, circular tubing, make a three, and it's gonna be about three eighths. If I can just drill it out. And um, we're gonna do about a th uh, three quarters of an inch long, long like that. So it's gonna go down about three quarters of an inch. We're gonna have um, ten inch uh, square tubing, and we're gonna uh, on both sides. And I'm gonna cut this rounded part out. And and then I'm gonna take the same design for these, identical. You know, three quarters of an inch, three eighths, and then I'm gonna put them on uh, on this side horizontally. And then that'll be the top. Then we have the bottom one, and it's going to be the basically the same design, except uh, I'm going to add this. This is a uh, top top view of it, and it's going to have a steel plate from about halfway over all the way up to the to the eye hole. And see all these little marks here. Those are all like the weld marks. Just, just you know, thinking of how it would look. And the dotted line here is gonna is a bar on the underneath, and that's how we always learn to draw uh, like hidden lines and stuff. So, so yeah, then a small piece of sheet metal. And then it's gonna go about halfway down the down the rod. And then here's the bottom view. Um, you know, tie rod. Or I'm not sorry, not the tie rod. This the uh, air arm. Here's the sheet of metal. But then here's the 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 uh, tube. And then we're gonna draw, draw, drill a hole right in the center to put the shock mount on there. Well, it's obviously gonna be on this side of the top part, obviously. See, and then um, hole for the shock mount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next page. This is about what it'll look like when um, it's when when they're both individually done. And you know, obviously they'll be on top of each other. I try to do it, but you know, it's not that good. But you know, it's whatever. So then the. Um, the steering spindle will the bolt will go into here and here so, it, so it'll just go straight up and down like a bolt and um... so it'll be ten inches long, here's the top, here's the bottom and then here's the shock, how the shock mount's gonna be on there with the plate and uh... yeah so I had a couple questions though um... are the are the air supposed to be the same length if not how, how are they supposed to differ and thanks